Hey friends, it's Jessie and welcome back to the channel and welcome to my A to Z project pan update. This is my August update. I think I might have missed my July update by accident, so I apologize, but we do have some progress to share. I tried to put this off as long as physically possible, but I need to get this update out for you all. So let's go ahead and get in. It is literally 100 degrees out. I am so hot. We're growing natural hair, literally just some eyeshadow gloss and contour. Not even wearing a full face today. It's the vibe. Like I said, I tried to put this video off as long as I possibly could. However, I have a film schedule I have to stick to. And unfortunately, I do not have a pan to share, but I am very, very close to a couple. So I will go ahead and share those when I get to them. We're gonna go in alphabetical order like always. So we're gonna go ahead and start with letter A, which comes from my Natasha Denona Retro Palette. And the shade I've been working on is Andy, which is this really pretty cream to powder formula up here. It's just this really pretty mauve shade. Very beautiful cool tone. I only used this one time since last update for a grand total of four uses in the project. However, because it is that cream to powder formula, it definitely looks a lot more used than just four uses. It is very easy to work through creamish type shadows, so I'm hoping that it won't take too long when I actually sit down and try and focus on this shade. However, I did learn in my Project Pandas eyeshadows when I tried to work on my Natasha Nona Love palette that these pans are actually very deep. So even though I have four uses and it does look like there's some good progress in there, it is going to be a little little bit of a haul for this shade. I don't really have much else to say about this one. I think the time I did use it, I used it as like a lower lash line shade and I used it in conjunction with my ColourPop and Hocus Pocus palette. So that's about all I got for this one. Are you guys ready to see how much progress I made on letter B? Letter B comes from my Naked Cherry, obviously, and the shade I've been working on is Bing, which is this matte berry right here. I have used Bing a total of 22 times since last update for a grand total of 31 uses in the project. If I'm looking down, it's because I have my notes. Sorry about that. I'm very pleased with the progress. It is looking very loved, and I think Pan is on the horizon. If you look over at Hotspot, I feel like I'm almost there in Bing. In fact, I tried to push this off as long as possible because I really thought I was going to hit Pan on Bing, but alas, I have not. So... Next update for sure, I will have pan. I am very excited about how this palette is looking though, because even though Bing has been my focus shade, I'm also starting to notice dips in Caution, as well as Feels, Devilish, and the tiniest little bit of Disturbance in Privacy. So I feel like as a whole, this palette's getting a lot of love, which I'm very happy about and I'm very excited to see what it looks like in the next month. I primarily used Bing as a crease shade. In fact, I'm wearing it today. I used Bing in the very crease and then I blended it with my Too Faced Better Than Chocolate palette. So lots of fun things you can do with Bing. You can kind of make it a pinky neutral look, make it a pink berry look. There's a lot of ways you can play it up. So I very much enjoyed using Bing. It's been one of my favorite shades to work on and I'm very excited about the progress. Letters C and D already have pan in them as we established in my last update. So next letter we're gonna be talking about is the letter E. Letter E is actually from my ColourPop She's Got Solstice palette, but I did depot a couple of the focus shades I'm working on and pop them in this singles palette. So the shade I've been working on is Estrella, which is this kind of rose gold pink shimmer. I have used this one a total of four times since the last update for a grand total of seven uses in the project. So it is starting to look loved, especially off to this side. I find it's one of those chunkier shimmer shades. So even when I use a brush, I'm finding that I have to dig in to the pan a lot to try and get enough to keep it to stick on my eyelid. Like it's just so flaky and powdery and chunky. So even though I've only used it four times, it's definitely looking a lot more loved than it was in the last update. Here is Estrella Swatch. As you can see, the color story so far is very pink. I'm hoping that moving more towards fall, I will be able to hit pan on some of these pinker shades and work on some more like orangey, red, plums, you know, that type of vibe. Estrella will definitely be in here for a little while still. Is this camera angle the same? My camera just stopped working on me. Also, complete side note because I have no train of thought. I got Elle and Dustin from Stranger Things for my background. We love. And the bat lamp is back. 
But moving on to letter F, we are going into the ColourPop All Amethyst Palette. And the shade I've been working on is Feb's Gem, which is this matte orchid purple shade. It's like a matte lilac. I've only used Feb's Gem twice this month for a grand total of two uses because I did roll it in last update. Here is what it looks like swatched out. It goes very nicely with Andy, but of course I've been working on Bing and Estrella. So Andy and Feb's Gem have definitely kind of gone the short end of the stick in terms of shades I've been reaching for a ton. I do think once I start to focus on it a little more, I'll be able to make some pretty significant progress in this one. Overall, I like the shade. I like this palette. It's been a lot of fun. I just completely forgot to leave it in my shop, my stash, so go me. But two uses, I'll count that as progress. And the last shade that we currently have in my rotation comes from my ABH Modern Renaissance palette. And the shade I've been working on is Golden Ochre, which is this matte Golden Ochre color. I have used Golden Ochre 16 times since rolling it into the project. And I would say it still looks relatively, relatively not close to pan. It's been a really nice one to work into neutral looks as kind of a neutral transition. But as a whole, again, with this palette, I have gotten a lot of use out of it. I find myself reaching into Tempura as well as Primavera and Vermeer for like inner corner highlights. So as a whole, this palette is looking a lot more loved. I am very happy with the progress. And I do think that with a little bit more love, Golden Ochre could have pan in it by next update. The ABH formula is generally pretty soft, but this is the oldest palette in my collection currently, and it is starting to get a little bit tougher. It's not as soft anymore. It's a little bit harder to blend, so I feel like it's a little bit harder to work through, but that is what this project is for. So still determined to work on this one. Now is the time where I normally would roll in my shades. I don't have any pans, so there are no rollouts, and technically I should not be rolling anything in, but because I am so close to hitting pan on Bing, I do think it's only fair that I roll in my letter H shade because I do feel like Bing is going to have pan in it any day now, and I don't want to have one less shade to work on, and I already have my letter H shade picked out. So the shade I'm working on for letter H comes from my Nomad Cosmetics Haunted Europe palette, literally such a vibe, especially for Halloween, and the shade I've chosen to work on is Hoya Basu Forest, Hoya Baku Forest, can't remember how to pronounce it, I looked it up on Google and I can't even remember, and that was maybe a day ago, but it is this really pretty champagne inner corner shade, I feel like it'll be pretty easy to work through this one. It is also kind of like that super shocky texture if you know what I'm talking about. So I feel like it will be pretty easy to kind of use this shade. As a whole, I've wanted to reach for this palette nonstop for the past month, so I'm just excited to have this palette in a project. But this is the shade we are working on for letter H. Let me go ahead and swatch it. It's just a very light champagne shade. Very good for inner corner. So this is the final color story we will be working on for the next month. Thank you guys so much for joining me for my update. Sorry it wasn't as exciting as some of the others, but wait until you see my Panda's Eyeshadows update coming out next week because, girl, I have... I have a few pans and I'm very proud of them. So I know you guys will enjoy it. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any of my panning content. And with that, I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye friends.